Let's see demo of uh, create variants and style fusion in action. So I have my prompt and negative prompt uh, from the iterative uh, process exercise. Uh, let's check the rest of the settings. Stable diffusion model 1.5, portrait, prompt guidance is 7. I'll make the steps as 20, uh, number of uh, images as 4, and in the private session because I'm doing exploration. Click on generate, set the columns as four so that I can see all the generated images in one row. Yeah, so I have a few images generated. I think I'll generate it once again. Yeah, so I like this particular image. So I select and select the create variants feature. When I select create variants feature, it automatically sends this particular image to image to image section of 30 and automatically generates variants out of it. So I have image strength of 30. I see, yeah, the pose, pose is maintained, but definitely I see a lot of variations that were created. If I bump up the image strength to say 60, I see less variation created from the input image or less than uh, what it was for uh, image strength of 30. Let's bump it up to 90 and we'll see hardly any difference between input image and the output image. Right, so all of these output image looks same similar and there is not much of the variation. Let's actually now see uh, the style fusion in action. So what I can do is I can set the image strength to 25 and I can select some filter. For example, let's play with uh, uh, retro anime. And let's see what happens we, when we fuse pop art with retro anime style. Great, so definitely uh, there is a hint of pop art. The colors are coming from pop art and the artistic style is coming from retro anime filter. Let's actually do a little more here, for example, perfume. So let's see what happens when we combine pop art with perfume. Hmm. Interesting, the image, uh, the face looks a little more real than what we had for the pop art painting, right? It's not just limited to filters. What we can do here is we already have this particular image in our image to image with the image strength of 25. We can come over here and we can even modify our, uh, uh, our original prompt. For example, a pop art painting of a woman, I can say a woman with short hairs, right? And let's see what does this generate. Great, so uh, now I see in my output, most of the women that it generated have short hairs. Whereas our original input image, the woman had shoulder length hairs or long hairs, right? So this way we can, uh, we can use image to image and modify the prompt to create some sort of a style fusion.